So nothing's changed. It has, Mrs. Pryor. He's been clean for 47 days, but he's still very agitated at having to deal with the real world. I told you, you have to be patient. Will you be staying all weekend? That's the only way you could be let out. Very well, then I'll have them prepare your room. I have to stay in his room. Fine. Hello, love. Oh, you're here. Another moment too soon. What's going on? Your son. Dad, what are you doing? What? Put your clothes on. Jeffrey, is this what one hundred dollar a month gets me at your dad's facility? Jim, don't get worked up. We have a lo it's your birthday. We have a lovely evening planned. Better you shut. Mom. Hi. How are you? I'm wonderful. Thank you. You look fantastic. So do you. Jeffrey. Hi, kiddo. Are you taking care of my brother? I take care of myself. Oh, hug me. How are you? Why does everybody keep me asking that? Because we all love you. Yeah, right. Mom. Jeffrey, Wyatt, this is a good friend of mine. This is Candace. Hi, it's nice to meet you. And you as well. Thank you so much. She's had me prepare for an exam next week. Oh, so how's the medical school? Difficult. Don't worry about it. I will show her how to pass. Thank you. Candace was born to be a doctor. Well, I love to play doctor. What? What? Can't you just behave for once? Mom, you know, I know that you're still upset that we had to... Upset? You had me come in. There was nothing else we could do. By looking me away for nine months? You had a drug problem. What were we supposed to do? Right. You don't want to anything when you're perfectly the lying image. I'm out.